mercy on a sinner like me. You love my soul, cries out, hallelujah, praise God, oh, praise God, praise God, praise God, I feel it moving, praise God. Feel like praising him. You ought to stand on your feet. If you have your health in your strength, praise God for all his mercy. Praise God for all his goodness. Praise God. Praise God. I'm talking about that Savior. Said he went down on Cavity Hill. Said they spit in his face. But he kept on marching. They put a crowd of thorns. But I say they kept on marching. Said they ridiculed his name. But he kept on marching. Said they spit in his face. But the Savior kept on marching. Said they put a cross on his back. But he kept on marching. They said they whooped him all night long. But he kept on marching. Every, every time I think about his goodness, I just got to lift up my Savior name. Can you think about the goodness? Can you think about the time you were down and out there? Didn't he, didn't he, didn't he bring you out there? Oh, praise God. You ought to praise him. You, 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 you ought to praise him. Say, I feel my Savior moving. Say, every time I think about how he healed my body. I, I, I got to give him the praise. I, 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 I got to give him the glory. See, back in January, I was on my deathbed. Say, my kidneys has failed me. They diagnosed me with pancreatitis, y'all. Say, his body was racking with pain. No, 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 I could not move, y'all. But look at me here, I'm moving in Jesus' name. Ah! To give him the praise. Oh, you ought to give him the praise. You ought not sit down on a savior like him. Won't you think about how he woke you up this morning? Won't you think about the word that he put on your heart? Ah, praise God. You praise him. Clap, clap, clap them hands, y'all. I'm talking about my Savior Jesus. I'm talking about my Savior Jesus. Won't you look beyond this old filthy flesh? Look to the one that's down in my heart. I'm Say they put clapping in my hand. Say they put running down in my feet. Put joy down in my soul. Praise God. Praise God. See when he get the moving down in my soul. I just can't help but to praise him. I can't help but to give him the glory. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, Lord, have mercy. See, you might not ever experience him, but I experienced my Savior. See, I left this gospel for about 10 years. I was sleeping 10 long years. But the man of God, Bishop Andrew Stephen, say he came through my city one day. And he woke up this blonde eyed soul. And ever since I've been running for my Jesus, yeah, praise God. 
good God Almighty Is he been joy in your soul Is he been life to you oh, Praise God Wake you up this morning. Did he put food on your table? Did he wake away out of nowhere? Were you down in the valley? Did he, did he bring you out? Yeah. Amen. Did you really come to praise him? Did you really come to lift him up? Amen. Someone come on. He is alive forevermore. He is alive forevermore. He's like a well of water springing up in my soul. He is alive Is a lie. 
Might not have no losses. I'm gonna trust in his word. I'm gonna trust in his word. Yeah, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all feel like singing? Y'all feel like singing? See, God ain't no sauce, but I want you to praise him. I want you to praise him. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. In my soul. In my will. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Jesus. He's alive. I can feel him in my hand. I can feel him down in my soul. He's alive. He's alive. In my heart. Say when you're alive. You ought to show some sign. If you're alive, you ought to show some sign. They say live people, he'll make you move. If you're alive, you ought to move. If you're alive, you ought to move. If you're alive, you ought to move. Down in your heart, if you're alive, say you will of water. Swing up. Down in my soul, he's alive. I gotta give it to him. He's alive. Said he went down in the mix for three days and three nights. Said he battled. Said he battled. Said he battled death. Said he battled death. He kept on fighting. Let me tell you. When he rolls, uh, when he rolls, uh, he rolls uh, with all power in his hand. Uh, say to death, uh, said he took a sing, uh, said he took a sing. Uh, he's alive, uh, he's alive, he's alive uh, in my heart. Uh, he's alive uh, down in my soul. Uh, I can feel him uh, down in my heart. Uh, City like, uh, like fire, set up in my bones. Uh, he's alive, uh, he's alive. Uh, God not dead, uh, but he's alive. Uh, said I can feel him in my feet. Uh, I can feel him uh, in my hand. Uh, I can feel him uh, all over me. Uh, you ought to put them hands together if he's alive. Uh, we the PCG uh, say we got the gospel. Uh, show the world. Uh, let them know it. Uh, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Won't you call his name? Jesus. Jesus. You can do better than that. Uh, to save the world. Uh, Jesus. Uh, say we got it. We got it. Uh, the God of Bishop Rice. Uh, the God of Bishop Dern. Uh, the God of Bishop Seal. Uh, the God of Bishop Wills. Uh, the God of Bishop Sotomayor. Uh, the God of Bishop Mason. Uh, the God of Bishop Wilson. Uh, the God of Bishop Seal. Uh, he's alive. Uh, he's alive. Uh, Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Uh, you can't call him long uh, if you burn him down. Uh, I guarantee you, uh, if you call the name, uh, he'll make it well. He's alive. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I ain't only one to know. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive, good God Almighty. He's alive. You don't act like he's alive. You ain't moving enough. Come on, Zion. We got the gospel. Put them hand together. He's alive.
Amen. Truly, he's alive. All right, now. Hush your fun. He's alive. Jesus. Amen. God is great. He's greatly to be praised. God is great in my soul. I know God is great. He's greatly to be praised. God is great in my soul. God is love. He's love down in my soul. God is love in my soul. I know God is love. He's love down in my soul. Wonder, do you believe it? My God is a great God. My God is great. My God is great, yeah. The great led to be praised. Oh, my God is love, yeah. Oh, my God is peace, yeah. Oh, my God is joy. Oh, my God is great. Oh, my God is a great God. The great led to be praised. Oh, he's the greatest, the greatest of them all, yeah. Oh, my God is great, great led to be praised. Oh, God is great, oh, my God is great. Oh, you gotta believe it for yourself. Oh, my God is a great God. Oh, he's great, he's great, he's great, he's great right now. Right now, he's great. That in my heart, that in my soul, he's great. He's great. He's great. Woke me up this morning in my right mind. Got to you of my limbs, yeah. Gave me another chance. Great. A great God. He's a great God. And he's great. He's great. He's a great God. He's great. My God. He's a great God. He's great. He's great. Can you help me sing it? Say he's great. He's great. Come with your hand clap. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's great. Come on, saints. Is he great? Is he great to you? He's a great God. He's great. What did you come to do? What did you come to do? He's great. He's a great God. He's a merciful God. He could have gave us justice. But he gave us more grace. He gave us more mercy. Not that we were so, so good. But he gave us another day just to praise him, just to lift him up, just to give him the glory. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's a great God. He's great. Come on, musician. He's great. Play it like you know. He's great. He's great. He's great, down in my heart, down in my soul. I don't know about you, but I know about me. He's a great God. He's a merciful God. Woke me up this morning with my right mind. Somebody right now can't open up their mouth. Somebody right now can't clap their hands. But I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Great God, merciful God. Not on my pay of affliction, but I'm, I'm so happy. Down in my heart, down in my soul While I got a chance, while I got a chance 
I'm gonna give him all I've got, yeah Cause I owe it all, I owe it all, I owe it all, I owe it all To Jesus, he's a great God, he's great I'll be my last chair, I don't know yet Great, 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 great Come on when you get ready, great, 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 let it ring from your heart. Great, 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 great God. Great, he's great, he's great, he's great, he's great. My God is a great God. My God is a mighty God. He's great, he's great. I can call him any time. Great God. Great, 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 great God. Great God. Great. Keep clapping your hands, are you? Clap your hands in the balcony. She said he's great. Let me hear you say, great, he's great, he's great, he's great, he's great, he's great, he's great, God is great, that's what I want you to say, God is great, yes he is, I said, I said he is, Yes, oh, yes, she is. We're talking about Jesus Christ. I don't hear those hand claps. We're clapping to Jesus, y'all. God is great. He's a great, great God. Great all by himself. He don't need, he don't need, don't need, don't need nobody else. God is great. Oh, that's weak, y'all. Let me hear you cry. What you, what you say? I'm not a dancer, but I feel something in my feet. God is Oh, yes, he is. Oh, no, great, 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 great God. Oh, yes, he is. God is great. And truly he is great, and he greatly to be praised. Amen. We're going to call this crowd back around again. Amen. For another selection. We're going to praise them until they come in. And this is your time to praise them. Amen. Say thanks, Lord, for the choir. Praise the Lord. We have a song to keep seeking him. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. And we ask 
If the musicians, same musicians play, keep your eye on the director. If she say stop, stop. She say go, go. So that we will be one. Minister Leonte. I've seen him. Help us out, y'all. Seek it, Lord. Wow. You can call him. Church, amen. Amen again. 
You may be seated. Hey, Amen. We got a short video that we're going to watch, a brief video of the Life Center. And after work, uh, service will be in the hand of Bishop Stephen. Is this? Who, 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 whose house is this? Jesus. Who are you praising? Jesus. Well, then, it, just because you see me come down the aisle, don't stop singing the hymn. Yeah. 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 Shoot, you'll get me in trouble. Yeah. I ain't trying to get take his place. Yeah. This is God's house. I understand respect now. I understand respect. Yes. But when you sing to the Lord, yes, sing to him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let all flesh be silent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let all flesh take your back seat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, that, that bitches, I didn't have to say that. Yes, sir. They, they, they think, to God be the glory. But then they see me coming out of the aisle, they're going to stop. You a liar. Yeah. You trying to give it to me. Okay. It's not my glory. Okay. It's his glory. Yeah. 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 Uh, I remember one time, I remember one time uh, uh, Bishop Durham had an uh, appreciation and I was standing there conducting the service and the songs, bishops were elevated. The songs, the songs were anointed. And they were singing, and, and I wasn't going to stop it. Yes, and they had somebody run up to me, Bishop out there waiting. Yes, See, Bishop knew me too. Yes, and the song kept on playing, and he came in smiling. Yes, because I was glorifying his God. Yes, God, I know you don't like yes, it. Yes, we got to be one in everything. Yes, now, I ain't trying to, now, now then you got, you got to make sure you get this straight too, because then you got those people that, that take this and, and, and pervert it. Yes. Yes. They'll see the man that God get ready to come in, then they'll jump up and sing a song. Yes. Now, then you out of order. Amen. Amen. But if you're already into it, sing it. Yes. The Holy Ghost will tell you when to cut it off. Yes. 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 You ain't going to get me in trouble with God. I don't care. You ain't getting me in trouble with God. This is God's church. We are God's people. And we are God's leaders. Y'all understand that? Yes, sir. I mean, y'all understand that? Yes, sir. We need to put him first. Now, put him first. They were telling me out there, they get ready to sing. I said, let them sing. I said, me coming in and them singing two different things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going we gonna to hear some word today. Yes, I know it's go against the grain, but man, yes, I ain't getting in trouble for nobody. Yes, sir. God's in charge. Yes, He's the one that made me. Yes, Let's not get beside ourselves. Don't start thinking more of ourselves than what we are. We've all been put in this place. God put us in this place. And I ain't going to let no Negro get me moved out. I mean that. I mean that, bishops. Man, we was, shoot, this is his church. This is his holy convocation. Without him, we couldn't have a holy convocation. So you mean to tell me you're going to cut off from him so cause, just because I'm walking in? We need to get it right. We need to get it right. I can feel a lot of them. 
We got to straighten up here. We got to make it right. We going to turn this ship around and put it on the right course. And that's the kingdom. The kingdom in my home. I don't care what you say, it's a great convocation. I wanted to say this now because all my brothers is here. Because see, we like to divide. People like to divide here. You, you know, they, they want to divide us. But we won. We won. Why don't you say it? We won. I just had to say that. Now we're going to look at this, 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 this film. How great the Lord has worked in district number three. We all going to have opportunity. All right, come on. You agree? Like I seen a man one time in a movie, he said, do you have a problem with it? <laughs> Do you agree? Yeah. Well, say amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 You may be seated. As Bishop F. Four stated, we're going to watch a brief video of the Life Center in district number three and the further service being a hand of bishop steve
music reads, but without faith, it's impossible to please you. Lord, please give me more faith. Amen, amen, amen. Can you say amen again? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all may be seated. Y'all may be seated in the presence of our Heavenly Father. I bring you greetings from God, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God wants you to know that he loves you. Okay? He loves you. And I thank God for anointing me and giving me the inside knowledge of the Pentecostal Church of God. Knowing that this is the light of the world and that at evening time in 1955 God raised up a young man by the name of Reverend W.J. Peterson to bring the church out of darkness some call him the founder but really he told me he was the revelator that Jesus was the founder and Satan is the enemy and Satan have been fighting the church every see, see the wall didn't just start here on earth the wall did not start in the garden hallelujah but the wall started in heaven the enemy was upset from the beginning in heaven when envy and jealousy was found in the heart of Lucifer, a creature who God created and made him perfect. See, you don't know who you're fighting until you know who he is. The only way you're going to ever get along with something, an animal, you need to know the nature. If you know the nature of an animal, you can get along with it. But if you don't know the nature of it, you're afraid of it. Huh? The reason why you're scared of a snake, you don't know the nature of a snake. But if you knew its nature, you can deal with it. You're having witnesses out there. So learn the nature of something. And it won't ever change. It won't ever change. You can take dye and color a zebra, and it can look like a horse. But as soon as it rains, he's going to still be a zebra. Take a monkey out of the jungle and put him in your house, and he's going to still be swinging on chandeliers. You have to change the nature of something. And Satan in the beginning was a liar. So his nature hadn't changed. So when he was kicked out of heaven, he brought the same nature here on earth. Can you say amen? God is talking to us. He is talking to us. And he, he wants us to know what the fight is. How are you going to fight when you don't know what the fight is? So the apostle, God bless him, I thank God for him, brought the gospel of the kingdom. Do you know what that is? The gospel of the kingdom. We are a kingdom. We call it a church, but it's a kingdom. And we have a king. Hallelujah. And we have a king that was not elected by y'all at all. 
I don't care if you get mad with him, you can't take him down. I don't care if you don't like him, you can't get rid of him. <laughs> he is the king of kings. And he has a kingdom. And the kingdom is called the kingdom of light. And he's fighting the kingdom of darkness. So it is not but two powers. That's the power of light and the power of darkness. And they don't get alone. Light and darkness don't share the same space. When light comes, darkness get out the way. And when there's darkness, there's no light. And when you go to sleep, you sleep at... Hmm? You sleep at night. That's why we're trying to wake you up because you're under the power of darkness. See, you're under the power of darkness. And, 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 and we, 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 we already know that men's love That's why our job is so hard. Young bishops, you understand, our job is hard because men love have any of y'all ever been in love? When you know when you love something, it's hard to do what? <laughs> it's hard to turn it loose. It's hard to give it up. I ain't got nobody out there. <laughs> but they love what? Rather than... And we're trying to wake you up. Tell you to come out of it. Bishop, Bishop uh, Mason was talking about uh, 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 the, the smoke, the smoke, the smoke is darkness, and the smoke comes from fire. If there's no fire, you don't have smoke. So therefore, if there was no false doctrine, God have mercy, there wouldn't be no darkness. And 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 see the darkness, good God have mercy. See see the darkness is coming from the fire. And the darkness is what seduces you and puts you to sleep, which is false doctrine. You have been deceived by lies. False doctrine. And while you're sleeping, the fire is coming. Huh? But guess who the fire is? God is that consuming fire. He's the one that's going to burn you up. As John the Baptist said, what? The ax is at the root of the tree. And while you're sleeping, he's coming back. And all those that don't believe in him, they shall be cast in the lake of And I thank God for my brethren. I thank God for Bishop William Dern, Bishop J.J. Sears, Bishop C.L. Ross, and Bishop Eugene Rice. Men that tried to wake us up. Good God have mercy. Bishop Henry Martin, Bishop J.T. Martin, Bishop Marcellus Evans, and Bishop Williamson. All have gone on, have passed on from time into eternity have passed on from death into life. Amen. And I thank God right now for my brethren that is waking us up right now. The host bishop, Bishop Mason. Thank God for him. Bishop Charles Wilson. Thank God for him. Yeah. Bishop James Stedemeyer. Yeah. Thank God for him. Yeah. And all the young bishops that are working with us. Yeah. Bishop Nixon. Yeah. Bishop Tisdale. Yeah. Bishop Rod Wilson. Yeah. And Bishop Key. Let us say thank the Lord. Thank Hallelujah. I praise God for him. Amen. And also for the host of praying women. 
to my companion, to all of the bishop's companions, Sister Green, and all of the district supervisors, while y'all still are district supervisors. I honor y'all. Y'all did a great job. Pray to God, continue to keep you. But did you hear how Bishop Mason was talking? Amen. I, I think it was a little runover from what happened in his office. Every now and then, we have to let you know who's in charge. Huh? You have to, you have to let them know who's in charge. This church belongs to and to God be the glory. I don't care where you are what, or what position you hold. God is the one to get the glory. And everything has got to be Holy Ghost led. Huh? God don't bless a mess. You got to get it cleaned up. If you want God to bless it, you got to get it cleaned up. God does things decent and what? Say it again, decent and what? So if you're out of order, you're not with God. I want y'all to know God is not the author of what? Bishop, they smart out there. God is not the author of what? So when you see confusion, you know who the author is, don't you? That's why we got to have peace. That's why we need peace. Because God is the prince of peace. Or rather, Jesus is the prince of peace. And if he's the prince, I wonder who's the king. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> they can't be a prince without a king. Lord, help us here. I thank God. <clears throat> thank God for you. And I certainly want to thank God for how y'all have truly blessed with the Life Center. It has truly been a, a, a blessing and a miracle that I saw come to pass. I saw how God is in control. I saw how God in September at the women's meeting in 2017, my brethren, along with the mayor of Mississippi, um, of Meridian, and some of the representatives there, the television station, and we broke ground in September of 2017. We broke ground to build our life center. And we didn't have no money. All we had was faith. I believed that God would do it. And many of y'all was present at the Bishop Council in December of 17. And that was when God supplied the funds. <laughs> I stood and asked 300 people. How many of y'all was there? 300 people for what? One? Say it loud. 300 people. And God bless. And we took that money and, and tried to get a contractor to start working. Contractor wanted us to put up a, a million dollars. Am I right, with Bishop? Tim? A million dollars. He, they wanted, they wanted a million dollars right there in the bank. We ain't got nothing but three hundred thousand. I said, No, we gonna pay as we go along. And this man said, I don't see faith. <laughs> he wanted money. <laughs> he wanted money. So we couldn't get a contractor. Now we got the money. Don't have no contractor. That was in. February, January, February. The Lord told me, he said, I don't want to bless no financial institution. And God reminded me of something. He said, I said, those that bless you, I'm going to bless them. He said, everybody that give to you, I got to bless them because I'm going to keep my word. He said, everything you need is already in the church. I, that was put into my spirit so strong, I got on the phone and called Bishop Wilson. 
and say, Bishop, the Lord said everything we need is in the church. I've been trying to get a contract. I don't have one. So you are a contract. I know you're in Florida. You're not licensed in Mississippi, but come on to Mississippi. He had a sister say, I'll go to work right now. That's what you're talking about being one. We're one. He got with the sister, tried to get a uh, license in Mississippi, called back. Satan always present. And say, y'all ain't going to get no license in Mississippi. See, it's harder to get a license in Mississippi than it is in Florida. Now, how is that? Well, I ain't going to tell you. You know, they, they, that, that's Mississippi, all right? I ain't going to say that there. Because I thank God for my people on social media. <laughs> but he said, uh, but there's, there, there's a young lady in Tupelo, Mississippi, that might know somebody that could help you. I got on the phone, called her. I knew of her, but we wasn't doing business together. Her name was Sister Kim Dow. And when I call her, she said, Bishop, I thought y'all already had a license. I got a license. I said, what, you got a license? She said, yeah. I said, well, how much will you charge? What, what? She said, Bishop, I don't want anything. I just want to come there and help. She brought her license, and within three days, we had a building permit. Like God said, it was already there. And we walked by faith. Y'all kept your word, you kept sending money, and you kept on blessing. And I can say, hallelujah. hallelujah. And you see what we have gotten. Already we've gotten there, and it's all by faith. And if you get anything, it's going to be by faith. It's going to be by faith. Without faith, it is what? How many of y'all want to please him out there? Hmm. <laughs> Sister Stevens, I want, you to, I want you to read a scripture. Give her a mic, please. I want you to read Exodus, the fourth chapter. We're going to stick with what my brother has been preaching. Because God has been blessing us in this meeting. Y'all got that? It's just I want to talk on this right here real quick. Because without faith, without faith, faith is taking God at his word. Exodus, the fourth chapter, four and one. Wait a minute, they can't hear you. That mic is not working. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> hey, say, so see, that, that's a lookalike. Look like she got a mic. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got your Bibles? Yes, sir. Okay. And Moses answered and said. Now Moses did what? He answered, so he was talking to somebody. Moses answered and said, But, but behold, mm -hmm. they will not believe me, I nor know. hearken unto my voice. They ain't going to believe me. They ain't going to even listen to what I'm saying. Now, how you know that, Moses? The Lord tell you to do something. The first thing you're going to start talking about is they ain't going to believe me. The first thing you got to be convinced, you got to be convinced yourself. You got to be convinced. How you saying what they ain't going to believe? What did he say then? For they will say, mm -hmm. the Lord have not appeared unto thee. They going to say that? They going to say that. Mr. Uh -huh. Lord ain't said nothing to you. What did he say? And the Lord said unto him, mm -hmm. what is that in thine hand? What's in your hand? Go and ahead on. And he said. Moses said. A rod. Do y'all have your Bibles? Read with me what Moses said was. A rod. A rod. Is it, where is it at? It is Hallelujah. What did he say? And he said, cast it onto the ground. Uh -huh. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Y'all see that? Man, that rod, did you see that? Now what did he say? And the Lord said unto Moses, uh -huh. put forth thine hand. What? What did you just say? Put forth thine hand. You saw me running from that thing? I ain't got nobody out there. Okay. You threw that rod down. And it became a copperhead. Now I want you to pick it up. <laughs> you gonna pick it up, Sister Stephen? Come on, Sister Jane. Now you got on your robe. <laughs> Come on, praying women. Come on. You just Sister Stoudemire, a bishop wife. You. I know you go, Sister Wilson. I know Sister Mason gonna. We got a problem. <laughs> All right. So do y'all get what we're talking about? Uh, you got to do what? Face your fear. You got to face your fear. You got to face your fear. If you're going to do anything for the Lord, you got to face your You see why we not, you see why the deacons are not doing anything. You see why the elders not doing anything. You see why they're falling by the wayside. Because you're not facing your Okay. But Moses went on, he went on and did what? And he put forth his hand and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. Okay, that's good. <laughs> At least we had one. <laughs> But you know, I, I, you know what? I'm not going to get on y'all too hard because I would have been sweating too. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yes, sir. But it ain't what it looked like. That's what I want you to know. It ain't what it look like. If God is with you, if God is with you, and that's what you got to know. If God is with me, it ain't what it look like. Thank you. We, 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 the Lord opened up this meeting and God was truly speaking. And I like to turn to the scriptures in the book of, uh, I've just talked in the book of Isaiah. 67, verse 16. And uh, I think it's the sixth. Isaiah 62 and 6. Yes. I have set watchmen upon the walls, O Jerusalem, mm -hmm. which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. And give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. I have set. Now notice, God is talking. And that's where you got to believe. God is. And he said, I have set watchmen over the wall. Now, oftentimes when I preach, I go into the Old Testament, but when I go into the Old Testament, I want you to always know the Old Testament is pointing to something in the New Testament. The Old Testament 
is a pattern. You, 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 our, our Old Testament can be a blueprint, but the New Testament is the build down. Okay. See, so you, 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 you can't have a dress without first having a pattern. So the Old Testament was the pattern. Lord have mercy. You see, the lamb that they killed in the Old Testament was a pattern of the real lamb that came into <laughs> Moses in the Old Testament that delivered the people out of Egypt was an example of Jesus. What happened in the Old Testament was a pattern for us in the New Testament. Coming out of Egypt is like coming out of the world. Crossing the Red Sea is going into the baptism pool. The, 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 the water that saved them from Pharaoh carried them over into the promised land. It's the same water that destroyed the enemies. When I was baptized, I was saved. And all my enemies were drowned. And I am saved. The Old Testament is a pattern of what's happening right now. Amen. So when you read the Old Testament, remember there's a fulfillment in the New Testament. He said, I have set watchmen. Good God have mercy. He said, watchmen. So if he did it in the Old Testament, believe you me, it's done, it's being fulfilled. Amen. The Passover in the Old Testament, the Passover, the blood that was put over the house. They ain't got nobody here. Huh? In the Old Testament, when the deaf angel came and saw the blood, he passed over it. In the New Testament, yeah. do you have the blood? So when the deaf angel comes, he gonna pass. Amen. So God has set watchmen. And that's why you better pay attention because, see, you only have the fulfillment going to come in number three. Huh? The first one happened in heaven. The second one happened on earth. And the third one is when he come back. <laughs> see, you have morning and you have noon and you have supper. Yeah. And now we are living in the evening time. Yeah. When do you have supper? Evening time. Yeah. That's why I said that he had prepared a supper. Yeah. And he had invited people to come. Yeah. And that's our job, we invited people yeah. to come on. Yeah. Come on here. Yeah. Come on here. Yeah. We are now living in the evening time. Yeah. And God has set watchmen and they must cry loud, lift up their voice like a trumpet in the air. He says, show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sin. And that's what our brothers have been doing. Then the Lord, you can have to see, then the Lord talk to us. You heard him talking through Bishop Mason. Huh? Too many people have gone to sleep. And what we're trying to do is say, wake up. It ain't going to do no good if you can't, you can't become a doer. You rejoice at the word. You hear the word. It sounds good, but you got to be a doer. In other words, I got to turn around. I heard what you said, Bishop, but I got to turn around. I heard Bishop, Bishop, Bishop Stoudemire last night. Amen, talking about, I know what I was yesterday. I know the mistakes I made. Huh? But I want you to tell you, you know, when we started out, we started out with zeal. Got many people coming to us, want to get a divorce. Huh? Done went through so much, and now they're ready to give it up. 
But do you remember how it was when you were walking hand in hand with this young lady? Do you know how you felt then? Well, you got to redeem the time. Oh, I know trouble might have come. He or she may have put on a few pounds, but you didn't marry the body. It ain't what it looks like. You, 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 you should have made an internal investigation before you made an external decision. It ain't what it looks like. Good God have mercy. Well, here we are right now. And now they're ready to throw in the tower because it ain't what they thought it was going to be. Well, what did you think it was? You made a commitment there. You said there's sickness in the dark days. Huh? You made all those commitments for the good and for the bad. And as soon as they go bad, well, bitch, I ain't know it's gonna be bad this long. How long is it gonna be? You only know this moment. You don't know what's around the corner. People, people sitting down, amen, on the side of their bed, amen, rolling the revolver, thank God, spinning the candles with the gun to the heads. Ready to call it all over because of something that was disappointing to them. One thing they lost, and they ready to end it all. They only looking at that one thing that failed them, that one thing that disappointed them, and they ready to commit suicide. But here I am, Lord. My God is a redeemer. All I need is some believers here. Yeah. That's all we need is some believers. Yeah. If I can get some believers, I can show you what God can do. Yeah. I can show you what God can do yeah. if you can only believe. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Our brethren, amen, been baptized in the church. And I can go to Bible school and see about two or three. If I'm stepping on your toes, just moving a little bit out the way. <laughs> but the word of God said, forsake. Not the assembling of yourself together. You need to be in Zion. You need to know God's word. I've said watchmen. Huh? Where they at? Bishop, you on the wall? You on the wall? You on the wall? What they're reporting? What they see? What are they seeing? Do I have anybody out there? What are they seeing? with the ministers, with the deacons, with the elders, with the praying women. What are they? There, there, there is a scripture, and I like the way Bishop Mason broke it down, but we look at everybody else. But you need to look at yourself. And there's a scripture that says, let every man examine what? Let every man examine his own. Quit looking at me and look at yourself. My biggest enemy is myself. So I cannot get along with my brother because of how my brother treat me. I need to look at myself. I need to get a little more strength. Huh? I can't get along with the sister because she treat me wrong. I need to look at myself. Quit looking at that sister. Look at yourself and say, Lord, you told me to love. 
this of her own with me. You told me to love my enemies, but I can't speak to her because she don't speak to me. My salvation, my salvation is predicted on how you treat me. Come on here. Huh? My salvation is predicted on how you treat me. My Holy Ghost is only as good as how you treat me. You treat me right, I can love you. You praise me, I can accept you. Talk about me, and I don't like you. There's people right now that don't call one another, don't talk to one another because of how somebody treat them. Where is the love of God? Where is the love of God? My brother's here talking about the love of God. You got it. Are you willing to redeem the time? And say, Lord, I want to go back. And I heard Bishop talking about, amen, there's something down in me. But I heard another song that say, take me back. <laughs> take me back. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I don't want to go back unless it's going to help me to be better. I don't want to go back unless it's going to shoot me stronger and make me more powerful and make me a much better man. Do I have anybody out there? Here we are right now. Lord, help us. Read, read the 10th verse. <coughs> Is it the 10th in Isaiah? Isaiah 61 and 10. No, no, no. Where is it? Go through. And 10. Go through. Mm -hmm. Go through the gates. Prepare ye the way of the people. Cast what is it saying? What? Go through. Go through the gates. Go through. But where does it say go through? Go through the gates. Amen. Go through. That's what I want y'all to know. Go Go through the You can't go in unless you go through. In, 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 in Jerusalem, there are how many gates? Thank you. So you go to Bible school. Twelve gates. For the twelve what? <laughs> so if you get in, you got to go through one of them. We got gates sitting right here. Yes. Lift your hands, oh ye gates. Yes. Lift your hands, oh ye gates. Yes. And if you get in, you got to go through. Yes. If you get in, you got to go through. Yes. Jesus, Jesus decides himself as a door. No other man. He said, if you want to get to the Father, I don't care how you fast, I don't care how you pray, I don't care how much money you give, if you want to get to the Father, you got to come through. We got people so hard-headed, they don't want to come through Bishop Stuttermeyer. They don't want to come through Bishop Wilson. They want to ignore Bishop Mason. But if you get in, If you get in, you got to come through. That's why I say go through. Go through. I remember, <coughs> I remember last night, I think uh, as Bishop Sotomayor was talking, talked about this young man that had to go through Samaria. <laughs> Good God have mercy. And, and the journey had been kind of hard. And it was about the sixth hour of the day and his disciples had went to get some food. And he was sitting at this well. And here come a lady at the sixth hour, which is the wrong time for you to come and get water. But there's a reason why she came in the heat of the day. And Jesus, now look at here. Here's a man that got everything. 
you got to understand when he talked. I mean, what would Bill Gates look like coming to you asking you for a ride? He don't need it. Man on a freighter cars. Here comes Jesus. Good God have mercy. Just say, give me some water. Huh? Give me some water. Now here he is, sisters. Got everything. But yet I'm asking you for something. I really don't, don't, really don't want it. Anything you got natural, I don't want it. Anything natural is only temporarily. Look what all he turned down when Lucifer offered him. Huh? Lucifer offered him the whole world. But now he is asking for just a little cup of water. She said, if you, then she come and start talking about all that was inside of her. And he said, if you only knew. If you only knew what, why I'm talking to you. I don't want what you got. Because what you got, you're going to thirst again. But what I have, good God. What I want to give you is living water. That's what I want to get your attention of. If you only knew. And that's what I want the church of God to know right now. You just don't know. If God walked in here right now, you wouldn't recognize him. See, see, we look for God to come what, 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 with cherubim, six wings, and globe, and, huh? Then you would say, oh, that's the Lord. But you need to look to the person sitting right next to you. You, 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 you need to know that a lot of you have entertained angels unaware. Some of you have given an angel water. Oh, good God, have mercy. Yeah. Huh? Bishop, I heard the Lord saying, come unto me and enter into the joy of the Lord. He didn't say nothing about how many times you came to church. He said, when I was hungry. Now, when, now how in the world the Lord going to ever be hungry? When I was hungry, you what? Have any of y'all fed somebody that was hungry? Keep your hands down. I don't want to see it. <laughs> when I was naked, you did what? No, come on, yeah. When I was in prison, you did what? Sometimes you're in jail, and I ain't got nothing to do with them. <laughs> they must have did something they had no business doing. Right where they belong. See, we don't recognize him. We don't know who God is. Because we look, we have a human perspective of God in our mind. What we think he should look like. Amen. But he came unto his own and his own received him not. Huh? Do you know why God came? I mean, God so loved the world that he did something here. He did something. He wanted to come down and be with his children. Mm. He wanted to be with us. He wanted to sit with you. He wanted to drink with you. But the only way he could do it, because he's a holy God, the only way he could do it, he had to put on a body and come down and dwell with us. But he didn't want to come down with heavenly. He wanted to come down as a man. So, so he took off all of his glory. I want y'all to see what my God did. He took off all of his glory and left it in heaven and came down to dwell with sinners. 
with unrighteous people. He came to dwell with us. And instead, like a lot of us come here and upset with the hotel and motel, he didn't go into a five-star hotel. No, 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 no. There was no room for him. So he didn't say, well, I'm going to go back to heaven. No, no. He said, I'll go into a stable. And I'm going to have to lay my precious child in a manger. Ah, look at here. Look how he was. And therefore, he was unaccepted by his own people. Because he didn't come the way he should have came. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is the Christ. He is the Redeemer. And he came like a slave. Came like a poor man. And he called himself the Son of God. Oh, no, no. He ain't the Son of God. If he was the Son of God, let him prove it to us. Let him prove it to us. Jesus said, I'm going to tell you right now what my God said. He said an evil and an adulterous generation. All y'all want to see a sign. But it said, ain't going to be but one sign given. And I'm going to go into the Old Testament and let you see the only sign that's going to be given as Jonah. He was signifying my coming. And as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a fish, so shall Just like that. So, and, and, and he said it's so clear. He said it's going to be what? Three what? Y'all come on here and talk to me. Three days and what? That's going to be the only sign. And I see these false. Y'all can quote me. These false preachers. Put them in the grave Friday evening and get them up early Sunday morning. And say he was in there three days and three nights. That's the false Jesus. You serving a false Jesus. I know you call his name Jesus, but he ain't Jesus. He is the one that said, listen to me, I want you to hear me. In the last days, many will come in my name saying that I am the Christ and shall deceive but here we are today he was in the grave three days one two three Monday Tuesday Wednesday he went in the grave Wednesday night he was in the grave Wednesday night he was in the grave Thursday night he was in the grave Friday night he won there Saturday night he was in the grave Thursday day. He was in the grave Friday day. He was in the grave Saturday day. That's my Jesus. That's my Jesus. He wasn't there Saturday evening. That's my Jesus. That's the Jesus we preaching to you right now. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. I want to serve you. I want to serve you. I want to serve you. The Bible, it tells us to go through. Go through. Go through. Go through. But we are living in these days. An enemy is putting us to sleep. Going to sleep, we don't come to Zion the way we're supposed to. We don't sing songs like we're supposed to. Not having about it out there. We're not loving the way we're supposed to. Huh? Something has happened. But I heard it in the book of Galatians. If you want to read that for me, please. In the book of Galatians, mm -hmm. uh -huh. stand, what? You got to stand 
in the liberty where Christ has made us do you remember when he made you free do you remember how you felt when he made you free huh? so what it says stand remember we are the watchmen on the wall the New Testament is the fulfillment of the Old Testament and it says stand fast stand fast God made a promise huh? you got to stand fast my brothers and my sisters as I talk to you today he's telling you to stand fast in the liberty where Christ has made you free and and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage there you go you're getting tied up with the yoke of bondage you're getting tied up with the yoke of bondage but you have a commandment to do what? Stand fast. You have a commandment to stand fast. And at this convocation, the Lord have been talking to you. The Lord have been talking to you. Faith come by hearing. And the hearing come by knowing God. So his word is saying, faith is the substance of what? So if you don't have no hope, how you have faith? Hmm. If you don't have hope, how can you have faith? Faith is the substance that comes out of hope. My hope is that my God is coming again. And that's what we're trying to revive to you. In this meeting, Bishop Mason and Bishop Stoudemire have preached their souls out letting us know that we gotta renew that hope we got to renew that hope because something has happened to us my brothers and sisters the way we used to stand we don't stand no more and that's the reason why we looking for soldiers we looking for women that don't mind praying we looking for we looking for soldiers elders and deacons that's not afraid to get on the front line. Amen. That's not afraid to pick up that rod. Amen. We're looking for men, good God have mercy, that will be at meetings. Yes. When we call for a meeting, you gotta know, I gotta be there. Yes. No matter what, I gotta be there. Yes. When they ask for an offering, it's not him asking for it. It is the Lord that's asking for it. Yes. I've gotta be a doer yes. of the words. I got to be a doer of the word. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm here to tell you that God knows you. God knows you. There's a scripture that I like to read in your ears in the book of songs. In the book of songs. As we get ready to close and I go to my seat. There, there's a scripture in the book of songs. I'd like for you to turn to 103rd song. And it is beginning at the 10th verse. He, he had not dealt with us after our sins. That's where you can say, Lord, I thank you. Your companion can get mad at you according to what you do. People get upset with you according to what you do. But God has not dealt with us according to our sins mm -hmm. nor rewarded us according to our iniquity yeah. right there's enough for me to shout on I don't know about y'all but that's enough for me to shout on I don't know about y'all but that's enough for me to shout on he have not rewarded us according to what our oh I heard Bishop Mason saying if you look in the closet we got a lot of people in here that done slept with underage children. We got a lot of uncles in here that done been playing with somebody. A lot of fathers done been playing with their stepkids. But God has covered you. He has not dealt with you according to your hmm. He has not dealt with you. Look how good God is. Read on, my brother. For as the heaven is high above the earth, mm -hmm. so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. 
For as the what? The heaven is high above the earth. As the heaven is above the earth. So great is his mercy toward them that fear him. The heaven, look what he's saying. As the heaven is above the what? Earth. How high is that? We don't even know. The heaven is above the earth according to science of the sun is 93 million miles away. I don't know what kind of rule they had. But they said it's 93 million miles. And the heaven is above that. So is his mercy. Anybody need mercy out there? Mm, and what it says. As far as the east is from the west. Mm -hmm. So far hath he removed our transgressions. We need us. to examine ourselves. See, when you start looking at yourself, go ahead on. Like as a father pitieth his children, as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Okay. For he knoweth our frame. See, look at here, look at here, look at here. This is what I like about it. He what? He knoweth our frame. I wonder how he made us. He knoweth our frame. Go ahead. He remembereth that we are dust. Oh, hallelujah. He remembered that you're what? Dust. Look to the person next to you and say, you ain't nothing but dust. He, 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 he remembers your frame. He remembers your frame. He know what you're made out of. As we build that life center, we put concrete in it. We put blocks in it. We put rebar in it because it could stand against something. But he remembered your frame. You trying to stand up. And you ain't nothing but dust. You ain't nothing but dust. Dressed up dust. And that's why he looked at you and said, I know why they did what they did. But if they just only turn and come to me. Do I have any deacons that want to turn and come to him and say, I ain't nothing but dust. Is there any elders that say, I want to turn and come to him because I ain't nothing but dust. Oh, if, if I were built a little solid, if I were built a little better, maybe I could have withstood that. Maybe I could have said no to that young lady that tempted me. Maybe I wouldn't have picked up the money that I wasn't supposed to pick up. But I ain't nothing but... Here I am, Lord. I ain't nothing but dust. Hallelujah. But here I am, Lord. He made us. He know all about us. And that's why he said, you should receive power. After that the Holy Ghost have come upon you, you should receive power. I need power. I need some power. The Holy Ghost power. I need his word. I need his spirit. I need you, Lord. Fill me. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. You made me and you know all about me. But I, I, I get in trouble. And instead of praising you, I drop my head. Instead of praising you and rejoicing, the enemy come and steal my joy. But I heard Jesus when, when he was talking to Bishop Sotomayor, when he told him that I came, I know you're here, but it said the Father, you ain't gonna be worshiping him in Jerusalem, not in this mountain, for the Spirit. For they that worship God must worship him what? You gotta worship him in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking The Father is seeking. See, that was 
called Lucifer job. Lucifer used to praise the Lord. But now God went and made dust to praise, to replace Lucifer. So Lucifer, I don't want you to worship him. The devil don't want you to worship God. I ain't got nobody here. The devil don't want you to worship God. So he'll let your wife walk out on you. He'll let your money just, he'll lay you off on your job. Ain't got nobody here. Ah. He'll let you have to file bankruptcy. He'll let the car go bad on you. And instead of praising God, you drop your head. But the joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. The joy that I have is not predicated upon what man do for me. But the joy. I'm just like Job, yea, though he slay me. I'm gonna keep on praising him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I may not have everything, but I'm gonna praise the Lord. The enemy may be talking about me, but I'm gonna praise the Lord. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Let everything, let everything. Let everything that have breath praise him. Praise him. Yeah. 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 I'm not praising him because I got money. I'm not praising him because I'm a bishop. I'm praising him because what he done for me. Whoa. Hey, all right. He know I ain't nothing but dust, but he said, praise me, praise me. Yes, yeah, yeah, wash me. Give the time and redeem time. He is the same today, yesterday, and tomorrow. I don't care what you did yesterday. My God is able to go into yesterday and clean it up for you. Here I am, Lord. You know I will do us. You know I will do us. You know I will do us. this beating in till I let my bishop know I'm going to praise the Lord. Whatever you want me to do, I'm going to do it. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Yes.
song with the choir. Can I get the song with the choir? They say, praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Let's praise him. So that's how I messed up. But here I am. Here I am. Here I am. He said, I'll have power after the Holy Ghost come. And the Holy Ghost is God's word. Do you have his word? Believe his word. Believe his word. Pick it up. Pick it up. Don't be afraid. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Mr. Mason, you bless my soul. Bishop Wilson, I know you're going to bless us. Yeah. Stand up by you. You bless our whole soul. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is our maker. He is our maker. And he knows all about it. Don't let the enemy put you down. Don't let the enemy put you down. Say, I know he's all right. Some of you don't want to come to church because you fell down. But here I am, Lord. Here I am. Bishop Tisdale, you may not know me, but the man that made me, he know my frame. You may talk about why Bishop did that, but oh my God, the man that made me, he know my frame. He know what I'm able to go through. Here I am, Lord. Forgive my English, but ain't he, 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 ain't he,
Praise the Lord. I thank God for you. I thank God for you. I want to make a little small announcement now. I thank God for all those that participated in helping us with the Life Center. And God told me that we asked 300 people for $1,000. But he said, before I leave this meeting, we're only going to ask for tithe. We only want 10%. We only want 30 people to help us fulfill building the Life Center, putting in the basketball goal, and other stuff. I only need 30 people to give me $1,000, and I'm going to ask the Lord to touch your heart. No, he, I ain't going to ask him. He's already done it. He's already done it. He already done it. Before you got here, he had already touched it. Mm, ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? See me. See me. Or see Sister Tisdale or Bishop Tisdale. Yes. And I'll let you know how much we got on Saturday. Bishop Wilson will let you know that God fulfilled his word. Can you say hallelujah? friend it ain't what it look like you looking at your bank account ain't nothing in it give it to him throw it down good God ain't my God all right can I say it one more time ain't he 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 ain't he